welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. Hope you're all safe and well. So guys, before I jump into this, because I know what it is, I can tell because it's super heavy. I'm so excited to open this. This, <gasps> so excited. Oh my God. Okay, yes. So guys, I have been looking at this website for a while. And I've been like, oh, I'm not too sure because it's not in the UK. And you just have your, your reservations about companies that are not coming from the UK. As you know, Dolls Kill, I you know, that came from America and I ended up being banged with custom fees. And I was a little bit worried about being banned with custom fees for these, but I think they take care of that. So it doesn't it didn't happen. So guys, without further ado, today is Dracula clothing. So, um, Dracula Clothing is based in um, Prague. Um, so I made this order on the 5th at 11 o'clock at night and I had an email, I think it was the next day, telling me that it was being processed, which is what you expect after you pay for your items. And within no time, I think it was in within two days, they had dispatched it and I got an email saying it had been dispatched. And I was like so patient because I thought this, I thought this was going to be longer guys. I actually thought this would be about three to four weeks. I'm so happy they're here. So guys, this is my first item and here is my second. As you know, I am going with red and black in my alternative competition and I'm also going with black and purple. They are two colours that I love the most all three colours. I do like green and blue, as you know, but they're not my go-to colours. These are my go-to colours. So guys, I seen these on the sales section because as you know, I'm a thrifty buyer. I like to find things on the sales section. Now, my, um, my parents did help with this, which I'm so grateful to. Um, my mum and my dad helped just to say it was a little, a little gift. And with that, these came, these were £22 each guys, these are under bust corsets, so they're not, they're not basque, they're under bust corsets, so my actual outfits are coming from uh, Moo Maiden, they're not, they've not been made yet, I'm still paying for them, but once I've paid for them, she will then, Sarah will then get them um, made and sent out to me, so then I will have my whole outfit, so I can't try this with the outfit, because I haven't got it yet, but I have a fair idea of what it feels like with a top underneath. So, like I said, these were £22 each. Um, it was £9.24. I think that was including tax and postage. Altogether, it came to £53.24. That is for two Bond underbus corsets. Now today guys I have got the Killstar jumper on so, so I don't know if these will be too thick to try on but at the end of this I will go and put maybe a vest top on or something or something like I don't know like a really tight bodice t-shirt and try these over the top so you get to see what they look like. Right without further ado let's get stuck in. So they're parceled up. I knew there were these because they're super heavy. Mmm. Don't you like the smell of new clothing? Oh my God. So guys, <gasps> little freshener is inside them. Throw them away guys if you do have kids because my little girl, not so little now, she's 17 in a couple of weeks. She used to think they were sweeties, I had to put them in the bin. So guys, I did go for a size smaller because they did tell me to size down. Now, originally I didn't know that. And I was like looking at the corsets and I thought there's none, none of them that are my size like literally and I was getting really disheartened because I thought am I that big that I can't find corsets to fit me <laughs> but then when I actually did my husband measured me and stuff and I sent the measurements to Dracula clothing can I just say the customer service is on top she was boom straight there she messaged me and it was night time she messaged me back pretty much straight away and said if you're going to um order you need to size down so do your measurement and then take two, I think it was two and a half inches off your waistline, I think it was, and maybe two inches off somewhere else, off your natural waist. She gave me the, the way to measure it anyway, guys. I'll pop it up here so you get to see what she actually said. 
and I was like oh okay well in that case then they'll fit me so this is my red one guys oh my god it's super heavy super heavy as you can see this is the lace for doing the corset and then it's a like a hook thing oh they're sweet it's proper steel bond guys oh my god so this is a 34 inch one guys i was trying to look for 36 i think or 38 originally i was going 38 but i've lost some weight so i'm now <laughs> i'm now 36 inch around my like my waistline and my hip line and stuff so then she said to, to size down so i've got a 34 i pray to god that that is correct here is the little sign just to show you Dracula clothing. I will pop the link. I will pop some pictures up of some of the corsets that they do, guys. So they do a wide range of corsets. This is an underbust one. They do all variants of the underbust. They've even got some that um, have got the straps over here, like halter neck kind of corsets. They've got steampunk. They've got gothic. They've got cosplay. They've got vintage. Oh my god, the range was amazing. Guys, I love that shop. I'd want to buy more from there. And I noticed Danny is one of the models. I think she was one of the winners of the alternative modelling contest. So seeing her on there put trust as well that this company is a legitimate company and it's not a fake. Because sometimes, guys, you just don't know. So, guys, it does have this little... I think they're slightly magnetised because they just hook in. So it's like steel bond and they've got an insert on it as you can see here there's an insert so there's no gaps in between so you don't get to see it if you was to wear this i don't if you was to wear this with a bra let's just say you've got a really beautiful thick bra like corseted bra that's a full cut that's quite nice and you wanted to cinch in your waist this is where this comes into so this will just tuck under your bra let me see if I can do it, guys. I can't twist very well because my ah, uh, sorry, ah, uh, my back, sorry, my back is hurting today. <laughs> it's probably the lack of sleep. So it actually goes underneath. As you can see, I've got a jumper on. It's quite a thick jumper, and it needs to be loosened because it's at its tightest. But it would go underneath, guys, like so, and then all this would be pulled in, so it'll cinch in your waist a little bit like the um. Attitude clothing corset belt that I got very similar to that, but this one's more bone. So this one's going to be a bit more <gasps> Breathed in um, but I absolutely love this guys and then that as you can see it is being closed in at the tightest And she did say I have closed it in at the tightest to be sent off, but there is an insert in that as well. Let me just see Yep, yeah, so there's this back insert here. So no matter how much you loosen that you've still got that and it's quite a wide insert as well guys so i can stretch this around this about this much without having to show any of the clothing underneath amazing so this that is why they tell you that you've got at least two inches guys because this is your insert is round about two inches now if you think if you're like 40 inch waist and you're trying to get into this it's not going to work because you will be sh it'll be showing your body after that so i'm happy because round about that is about enough for me to just open this up and have more of a basky kind of look to it guys i've got to tell you that this is super heavy like really heavy I absolutely love this. So it is bond in every panel. Let me just fasten it back up, guys. So it's a hook and it hooks in, guys. So it's not just going to sit there. They hook in. You've got to kind of do it at the same time. Right, there we go. So they hook in. And obviously your bass is going to be at its tightest. So there's no way of them popping open. Not that it mattered if it really did because I've got a top underneath. But that is my red and black jacquard. So these are called the jacquard underbust corset, guys. I absolutely love this. I wanted to go for this kind of thing because I think one of my skirts is a taffeta skirt and it's red. I'm hoping that it does match, actually. So this will go with that and my top is black. So that is my first outfit. I'm not going to say too much about it. So that is my first one. And then... I went for a purple one. Exactly the same size, guys. Exactly the same price. Exactly the same design. 
it's just purple so i've got the red jacquard and then i've gone for the purple jacquard <gasps> how beautiful is that now that actually looks smaller but it's not because it's set it is 34 let me just check yeah it is 34 it states it there but it looks it does look smaller if you just put them together no it doesn't freaking eyes in it <laughs> So that is the purple one. So it will be the same. It'll go underneath and then you can cinch it in. I used to own a lot of um, full breast basques. I've never really had an under bust corset, but I've had corsets where they've had to be pulled in. Guys, I had absolutely loads, but they were all like size 10. And obviously after I had Zach, my weight, I put on a lot of weight after I had sack and I struggled to lose it after I had sack because my, my chronic illness took over and I've, I've been ill ever since I've had sack. So things have kind of gone worse from that. So in my defense, I got rid of all my corsets because one, they hurt my back immensely. Um, two, my boobs just, I've not lost the weight from my boobs, guys. I am. Um, some, some people said that I was a double D. I am actually a double E cup. I am a 40 double E. So it's very hard for me to um, ever fit into them corsets again. Even at the widest, it just wouldn't work. So I sold every single corset. You know, these cost a lot of money, guys, when I was getting these corsets. They were like, some were like 80 pounds, some were 50. My, my most expensive one was like 100 pounds. Oof. I got my money back in a sense. I sold that for 80 quid, but it, I sold it and spent it on crap. So I had nothing to show for it in the end of it. These are underbus corsets. And I'm glad because even if I do lose my weight, they are a 34 one. So they would fit like this and I could probably just tighten it a little bit more. If I was to lose a super amount of weight, these probably would be too big, but I would keep them just in case. So 22 pound each guys. There is a little freshener with that one. Oh, I am so made up. So thank you so much to Dracula Clothing. This is amazing. I will go and try these on, guys. Can I say, if you do have a look in their sales section, they do have a lot of like Victorian steampunk um, cosplay. Oh, God, they have got absolutely loads. I would say I'd stick to the more of the gothic side, but I do like the steampunk that they had. They had like brown leather ones, um, for leather. They had velvet corsets, full corsets, underbust corsets. They had so many different ones. They had one with skulls. Let's just say that I will be buying from Dracula Clothing again. I fell in love with a few of their corsets, like full corsets. I think I will pick up a couple for myself in general. Um, but these are strictly for the competition, guys. Hopefully, I'll get to wear them again after the competition, without a doubt. It's not just for the competition. I'll wear them again. But um, these have purposely been bought for that. And some people might think £22 is, is too much. I think that was super cheap for these Bond corsets, guys. I think these may have been a lot more expensive. If I find the original price for these guys and the pictures... We'll pop them up both here so you get to see. But I thought for the price, these were amazing. Now, I will keep them in these content in this plastic covering, guys, to keep them clean and so forth. I will not hang them up in my wardrobe. Everything that I've got for my competition, I have kept together and separate. Um, as you know, I bought the Nala headdress in purple. Can you see where I'm going with this <laughs> purple theme? Now, my skirt is black with this outfit and my top is purple. So I'm trying to inject the two colours in both outfits. I have two outfits. One is photo shoot, one is catwalk. I don't know which one I'm going to wear on the day. I will decide there and then. And I've got a few other outfits that I'm bringing with me as a possibility if for any reason that day my back is extremely bad and I can't wear them, I can still wear the outfits and dress them up differently. I have the red which you've just seen, the choker that I got from Alternative Finch. I also have a purple one that's going to be coming soon. So some people may think it's to the extreme that I'm dressing up red and black and I should just, just go all black. No, I. these are the colours I love. These are me. I inject these colours in my life every day. My house, my clothing, everything. 
So <laughs> if I want to dress like that for the competition, that's my choice. That is it guys, take a breath. <laughs> so thank you to Dracula Clothing, thank you for your fast postage, thank you for keeping me updated all the way through them getting here. Absolutely amazing. I know it's not a small independent business guys, but at the end of the day, they are still gothic, they are still alternative, and they've still delivered. So for that reason, I am so happy. I will go and try these on in a bit guys. I will find a top to put on instead of this and I will show you what they look like. I'll either put music in it or I will discuss what I feel in them. All right guys, stay to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and at the end I will insert some videos for you to carry on if you want to, no pressure. All right guys, take care of yourself and each other and I'll see you in the next one. Stay to the end, bye for now. Okay guys, so I've actually put it on with um, just my bra, just as a general. This bra is too big for me guys, if you just wondering. I have lost some weight, so as you can see it's like massive. Um, there's no way I could like, there's no way I could like make it smaller. So, ignore the boobs guys, I feel very uncomfortable. But this is an underbass, this is what it's, I will be wearing a top under this, so this is not the way it's going to look, obviously. I'm, well, some people may think that's nice as it is. I'm not confident enough to walk down, no catwalk, with my boobs hanging down. So I will be just basically, um, I'll do, I'll have the top underneath and then the dress. I've got a, a tummy tucker in, so I'll be pulled in completely, but I may have lost some more weight since before then, guys. But this is what the bass looks like. So I'll we'll just turn around. It can go a lot tighter. My, my husband's only done it so tight at the minute. But this goes tighter guys so i want to go for this complete cinched in so i don't know who i'm going to get to do it on the day i have no idea my daughter said she might be able to come with me she just turns 18 if that's next year if it's this year i've got nobody whatsoever to pull me in so i don't know what i'm going to do about that i'll have to find somebody i can um i can get to do it for me because everybody's going to be getting ready i don't want to be mad with anybody but i do need to be pulled in now the top that goes underneath it um sarah has said it it can have a, a corset an underbus corset over the top and that's why i have decided to go with this so this is the red one guys now i panicked at first because as as i went to put it on first i had it upside down so I've got it the right way now. It is steel bound, guys. So you do, I do feel a little bit like this at the minute. Um, it's just been a long time since I've worn one. I just got to be very careful with my back. That's why my husband's not tightened it completely. But on the day, I will have to just grin and bear it, take some painkillers and just go for it. Um, because it's something I want to do and I don't want my disability to kind of break that i have good days and bad days i'm just hoping on that day it's a good day but if you're partying all weekend it may be a bad one <laughs> come sunday but um he said it was it's a nice bask he agreed that this is definitely good value for money he said you've definitely got a really nice corset there definitely worth the 22 pound price tag put it that way and it, it's still loose here guys and that's because my husband's not tightening me in but if you think about it i'm going to be it is still big this is a 34 inch. I don't think I would have gone any smaller just to be on the safe side. It is slightly big, but once my I've had that stitched in a bit more, that will be all flush. All this will be tighter here so the waist goes in and the skirt is like it flows out. So hopefully that's the image. I might have to put a petticoat underneath this skirt just to give it that little bit of boof. If not, I'll just wear it natural. Um, I've still got to go and get my fishnets to do because I'm wearing fishnets and I want leg garters. It's just the image I have in my head. That's the kind of thing that I dress. I used to dress mostly. I don't dress so much now, but this is massive. If I had a smaller bra, can you see how, how big this is? It doesn't go down any further, so it is really, really big. So I'm kind of like holding myself in. So there you go guys, that is the red bass. Tell me what you think. Do you like this? Um, women, do you like this? Um, don't forget, I've had four children guys. You know what I mean? Gravity is so cold. I could not, <laughs> I could not wear, um, see I didn't want an over bass because I just feel it squashes my boobs rather than it's like gives it my boobs. 
Um, I am going to be buying a brand new um, corseted bra, one that's really like gives me the lift and the boost that I need. So I will be getting a new bra. But there you go. That is what this one looks like, guys. Put in the comments below, tell me what you think. Let's go and try the purple one. I've just put my black leggings on, guys, with it, rather than my polka dot pants, because it just looks a bit odd. Um, but I'm gonna go and try the purple next, and um, let's see what that one looks like. All right, guys. Ben just pulled the, pra the bra down a little bit, because it is massive on my hand. You're gonna have to get, I've just bought a new bra, but it's nothing spectacular, but I want something that's gonna like really lift me up. But this is the purple one, guys. I absolutely love the purple as well. I like the contrast of black and purple together. I absolutely love these. He's pulled me in a little bit tighter just to show how much it cinches in the waist. Now, this is not tight enough for me. I'll need it a lot tighter. I can still breathe and I'm still slouching. So I want to be able to be put right up. So I'm standing upright. Everything's upright. As you can see, I've still got, I can still get my hands down there. Um, I know I'm going to have a top underneath it, but these tops are going to be really thin tops. So they're not going to be massively thick tops, but uh, Sarah knows that I'm wearing an under bus bass. I'm going to send her pictures of the bass so she can see what's going to be going with the material. But um, he's pulled it right in and as you can see the lace is plentiful. Um, I actually feel like I've lost at least a stoning weight. Um, but obviously I'd like to tone up a bit more my tummy. I'm never going to be um, a size 10. I'm never going to be um, a size 8, a size 10. But I could be a size 12 again, and that is, that's that's all I want to be. I'm quite big boned as well. But that's the back, guys, so you can see. It is beautiful. It feels beautiful. It feels like it's a top quality. I love this. Absolutely love it. I will definitely buy more. I think for Christmas, like my husband just said, do you want me to get you some more baths for Christmas from there? And I said, yeah. So I probably will buy some more from there, and I probably will wear them more. This is lovely. If I had to sit and wear this for the day, I think I'd struggle a little bit, guys, because I, I can't help but slouch. It's my back. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to notice so much now. But yeah, guys, that is it. This is my Dracula clothing. Thank you so much. I love it. I will send them the, um, the review. All I can say, guys, if you're going to buy these, you will not be disappointed. That is for certain. £22. I would pay up to about £45 for these guys, to be completely honest. I really would have done. Um, the fact that they were £22 is a bonus. And the postage was only £9. I've paid more than that for UK postage, believe it or not, guys. Everything £5. They charge £8 for a UK postage. This has come all the way from Prague. So, there you go. So, that is it, guys. Hope you like this video. I'm going to take some pictures cleavage and all because you know it's got to be done <laughs> so um tell me what you think guys which one was your favorite red or purple which one do you think i'm wearing for the catwalk which one do you think i'm wearing for the photo shoot i'll let you comment below all right guys take care and i'll see you in the next one